Hi there, this is Kevin from Data School. You're about to watch an excerpt from a private Q&A webcast that I do every single month. This question is about the value of learning pandas before doing machine learning with scikit-learn. Stick around to the end to find out how you can join these webcasts in the future. Thanks. Uh, the next question, again, is from Paul, and he says, Hi, Kevin. I am familiar with data analysis, manipulation, visualization, etc., but I'm currently learning the tools in the Python data science ecosystem. I'm now comfortable with Python, and I'm getting comfortable with Pandas, thanks largely to your video series. At what point would you recommend taking some of the focus off of Pandas and learning machine learning with libraries like scikit-learn, okay? So I've got two ways to answer this, this question. Um, at what point should you stop focusing on pandas and start focusing on scikit-learn? So my first answer is it depends on your goals, okay? Because data science, and I wrote about this in my last newsletter, data science is about answering questions and solving problems using data. Now, some of those problems can benefit from machine learning and some problems don't benefit from machine learning. Now, machine learning is definitely an interesting tool to many people and it's to some people, like it's the most exciting part of data science, not to everyone though, um, but you can do data science without machine learning. Um, it is not a prerequisite to be a master of machine learning to say, I do data science, okay? You can do data analysis without machine learning. You can do visualization without machine learning. I think there's great de data uh, journalism going on that I would call data science that is not does not use any machine learning. So it is not necessary, um, even though people like me like to teach it, for you to learn machine learning to say, I am doing data science. So here's my advice, and then I'll give you my other way of answering this question. Advice point number one is if you're familiar, um, if you're, sorry, if you're not familiar with machine learning, I recommend learning a little bit about it. You don't have to dive deep into scikit-learn. Just learn a little bit about what it is, the different types of machine learning, what they mean, how they kind of work at a very high level. And then separately decide what problems you want to solve with data science and then decide whether you need machine learning to solve those problems. So in other words, saying when should I learn machine learning is putting the cart before the horse. You need to first say, well, why am I learning this in the first place? Now, if you're learning it to get a job and the jobs all say learn machine learning, well, that's a different thing. So, um, that brings me to my second way of answering this question, which I'm going to reframe your question, um, Paul. I'm going to reframe your question as, if I want to learn how to use scikit-learn for machine learning, when do I know enough pandas to be effective with scikit-learn? So if you've decided you are learning scikit-learn, how much pandas do you need to know? And that's a great question, um, if that's what you meant, or even if you didn't, um, because data analysis, if you didn't know, data analysis and data preparation are actually key aspects of the machine learning workflow. Because number, I mean, I'll say just briefly, understanding your data actually helps you to do better machine learning because it informs what model you use. It informs how you frame your problem. It informs which features you think are important. And pausing briefly to talk about feature selection a tiny bit more, using your knowledge of the data set is another way to do feature selection. Looking at the data, thinking about it, seeing what makes sense. Anyway, data preparation, data analysis are key tools for effective machine learning and you often do those in pandas. So there's definitely value in getting good at pandas before using scikit-learn because it'll get you better at feature selection. It will uh, get you better at thinking about how to, how to handle missing values, which rows to drop, um, all kinds of things. Um, so what level of pandas is useful? I would say 
kind of vaguely intermediate. Like I wouldn't master, I wouldn't say, oh, you need to become a pandas master before you can get into scikit-learn. But it's certainly useful uh, to get to an intermediate level at least. Um, but there's nothing wrong with learning them in tandem. So if you've decided you're learning scikit-learn, you can go ahead and start. And what you should probably do is learn some basics of machine learning. Um, the real basics with toy data sets won't require any pandas knowledge. Um, pick up a really simple project with that, that has some real world data or pick something on Kaggle. And then you will start to see if your weak points are in scikit-learn or pandas or both. And that can help to guide your future education. So you don't need to master pandas before getting into scikit-learn. It will ultimately help, but you 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 are going to continue to learn more about both pandas and scikit-learn if you stay in this field and use Python for data science. So um, you know you don't need to master one before the other because you're going to have to continue to learn um, how these packages work, and you get better at them, and you'll uh, watch as they evolve and whatnot. Okay. Hope this video was helpful to you. If you'd like to join my monthly webcasts and ask your own question, sign up for my membership program at the $5 level by going to patreon.com slash dataschool. There's a link in the description below, or you can click the box on your screen. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.